Hello, hi, and welcome to Meaningful Mondays with me, Rashmi Shetty, a space where I share my life lessons. And today's life lesson is on the spirit of Christmas, the spirit of giving without thinking of a return. This happened about 10 years ago when I was traveling to the US. My brother had booked the ticket and therefore had sent a copy of the credit card on which he had booked the ticket. My family came to see me off. Once I passed uh, the security, I called them. Uh, I told them that I'm fine and they can go back because there's no point waiting. And they left. It was a late night, early morning flight. And as I went in and sat down at the boarding place waiting for the call, one of the officers called out to me and I went up to her. She looked at my ticket and she said, sorry, ma'am, there is a slight confusion. There is a mistake. The credit card on which your ticket is booked is not the same one which you've submitted the photocopy of. And I was like, uh, okay, so what can I do? She's like, please call whoever uh, has booked this ticket for you and ask them to send the right credit card. And uh, I, I knew from whichever number I call my brother, he's not gonna pick up because the number is not mine. I was not carrying my mobile phone. So I immediately asked her, is there an ISD number close by? And she said, yes. And she pointed to a booth. I went there, desperately tried about three, four times and he didn't answer like I expected because the number was not a familiar number for him. And if he was caught in something busy, obviously he wouldn't have picked a number which was just a random number. And uh, I was getting really, really nervous because I didn't want to call back home since they were just gone to sleep and a late night call on your residence number is pretty scary. And therefore I was like, what do I do? And I thought, okay, fine. Worst, I would just stay back in the airport, try my brother's number and if he doesn't pick up, then over, I miss this flight and I'm done. That I leave the next morning and come home in a taxi. And at that point, there was a gentleman who came up to me and he said, ma'am, uh, is there any problem? Uh, can I help you? So I looked up to him, not too sure, because it was like already 12.30. And uh, the people were really low in number and this was the international travel. So everyone was busy with their own lives. And uh, I looked at him and I said, uh, I didn't know what to say, in fact. And at that point, he said, ma'am, I work with Singapore Airlines uh, and I notice you're our uh, passenger. So anyway, I can help you. So I explained the whole situation to him. And he said, you know what, ma'am, uh, my cabin's right here. Why don't you come? He opened the cabin. It was a locked cabin that he opened. And then we went in. He took a glass of water. He gave it to me. He said, calm down. I drank. I calmed down. And then I narrated all that happened therefore he immediately said uh, you know what you take my mobile phone send your brother a message from this and say it is from you and uh, give him my fax number let him send the copy by fax onto this number and I can take the fax right here and you can go submit it so I said, okay, I did that. My brother immediately called back on the number, spoke to him, took the fax number and uh, reassured me that it's all going to be fine. And uh, it was all done in the next half hour. And uh, at that point, when he gave me the fax copy and I went and submitted and it was all clear, I paused and I, I knew thank you was a very small word. And uh, I just looked at him and I said, it's going to be Christmas in a couple of days. And for me, you are Santa Claus. Thank you very much for helping me again believe in the presence of Santa Claus in our lives. He burst out laughing and he said, Merry Christmas to you, ma'am. And thank you very much uh, because I was just finishing my duty and going back home when I saw you all confused. And that's how I stepped in here. But you gave me a very beautiful gift for Christmas calling me Santa Claus. And at that point of time, he just smiled, wished me and left. But I realized he had gone beyond the call of duty. And in every true sense of the spirit of Christmas, he was Santa Claus, giving without the idea of getting. Have you been Santa Claus to anybody? Or have you met Santa Claus in a different avatar? 
make sure you definitely share this with me and the world. And then as I'm leaving, I want to tell you today is 21st December 2020. The whole of 2020 was a huge challenge. But today, winter solstice is when the universe is giving us a gift that we can see with our naked eyes, a celestial experience of the twin star, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn in the same line. So don't miss that for anything tonight. Make sure you watch it and it's on for the next two days. So get every glimpse of an event that we can see with our naked eyes and last seen 400 years ago. So the best way the universe is giving us something at the end of 2020 is this event. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And remember, 21st December, so don't miss out the evening show up there in the sky. Have a beautiful, meaningful week ahead. I'll see you soon.